Hi guys, this is All Things Tech and this is a video about OS X Mavericks and some of the new features and some of the cool things that you can now do with it. So first of all we're going to talk about QuickTime Recorder. Now one of the things that used to annoy me an awful lot with this was the fact that you used to have a little square box that was up no matter what you did. Now up in the top right corner is the control so you can turn it off and you can turn and stop recording just by pressing that. So now we're going to look at the dictation facility within uh, OS X and as you can see I've opened up a Word document and I've set a shortcut that if I double click the command prompt as you can see it will now come up and start dictating so you have to remember that anything you say now will be dictated and it will write on your document space. Things like that don't work but if you say new paragraph as you can see it works. So I found the short test that I've done with the dictation facility very quick, it works well, there aren't too many mistakes, in fact there are probably just as many mistakes as there are with the off-the-shelf ones which cost $20 or $30. So um, it's good facility to try, have a go at it and see what you think and obviously please leave a comment below with how you get on. So this has been the dictation facility. As you can see, sometimes it pauses and will it will remember all of this and it will come in in one large chunk. So I'm just gonna stop this and pause and see whether that works. And as you can see, it did pretty well. So this is the dictation facility within OS X Mavericks. And as I said before, let us know what you think. Extended desktop is where you can use your Apple TV monitor as a second display. Now this is really good if you want to get a movie running for someone else while you're still working on your computer. Just drag it across. Once it's enabled via the um, AirPlay logo at the top, it will work really smoothly. One facility that's been needed for a while is tabs in Finder. So all you need to do is go up to view and show tabs bar and then you'll see that a little plus will appear in the right hand corner. When you've got that open you can click it as many times and create as many tabs as you want. And very similar with Safari when you're closing tabs you can literally just press the X and they'll disappear also. So a really good way of sorting out your files. Okay, so in OS X Mavericks, there are some hidden wallpapers that you can access. And to get those, you need to go to Finder and then to Go and type in forward slash library, forward slash screensavers, forward slash default collections. And that will come up with four options, four different types of screensaver, um, or screensavers or wallpapers. And you can get access to all those. There's animals, there's cosmic, there's um, the aerial shots and you know a nice range of lots of different photographs so if you're someone that likes to change this often you can see that there's lots of different nice pictures that you can choose from and that's not normally accessible from the main wallpapers option um, but here you can get access to them very simply so there you go that's how to access the hidden wallpapers and so you can always keep your desktop nice and fresh So a feature that has been available for iOS users for some time is iBooks and it's now made the migration over to the big screen and to the desktops and laptops with its introduction in OS X Mavericks. Now all the usual features are there, you can sort, search by uh, book title, by author, by category, uh, but there's a couple of other useful features which you have been able to use before but I think will probably become more useful when using them either on a laptop or on a desktop. And let's imagine, for instance, you're using um, I, a, a book to study and you want to make notes. You may well be reading it on your iOS device, but making notes is a little bit more cumbersome. But when you're using it on a desktop or a laptop, it becomes very, very easy because all you have to do is use the mouse to highlight the text as shown and then add a note. You can add, you know, remember this, look up this and all the different notes that you would normally add when you're studying. So this will sync with your iOS device as well, so any notes that you do make within these sections, they will appear on your iPad or your iPhone. And you can make multiple notes, you can do them in different colours, you don't even have to write a note, you can just highlight text. But yeah, there's a really, um, really quick and easy to do, and I think it's a really good feature. So that's a new um, addition to iOS 10 Mavericks. 
is this something that you're going to use I'm not sure I guess if you're a student you may find more use for it but let us know in the comments whether this is something which you find is a useful feature and a useful addition Again, with organization at mind, the new OS X facility of adding tags to your files is a really simple one, but it really makes things easier to find at a later date. So, for instance, you can add things for, give it the title of work or um, different people in your family. You can name them after them, but very easy to do. All you have to do is from Finder, right click on any of your uh, saved files and it will um, it will work now when you're saving new files when you're going on and creating it now you'll get the option straight away of adding the tag but this is a way around for older files just right click on the fold fo on the folder or the file and you'll see the option to add the tag so go down add tag and you can call it whatever you want whether it's work whether it's home whether it's someone in the family and this way you'll find your folders and files a lot easier. So there you go, that's adding tags. Again, another feature which has made its way over to the, um, from iOS over to the main computer now is the Maps facility. And so the new Maps uh, utility will give you live traffic updates as well. So you can see if there's an incident on a motorway or on a road that it knows about, and it will tell you about those instances. And so you can look across your journey, where you're going, plan your route, and look at all the different um, problems that may be there. So a nice little feature. You can also download this to your iOS device as well. Well, there you go, folks. There's a few little features on OS X Mavericks that we hope you'll find useful. Remember to like the video and to leave any comments you wish in the box below. And please subscribe for future updates.